everyone. In this video, we're going to cover side plank, a very challenging arm balance-ish kind of pose. There's a lot of weight on the arm that's on the ground and um, really easy to get off kilter with the spine or feel too much work in parts of your body that you really want to feel freer. So I'll be using um, one to two blocks and I think that's about all we need. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna reach down and grab my blocks. I never seem to place them in the right place. I should just put them on my mat. Wouldn't that be smart? So anyway, um, typically you can transition the side plank from plank. Sometimes it's easiest to come in to it from down dog to plank to side plank. I'll show that first, and then I'll show some different um, modifications that you could absolutely do and that where the block comes in is to um, raise the floor. So, all right, so I'm gonna show it from downward facing dog, just having those blocks handy. And for any of these down, there's a video for down dog, there's a video for plank, so please reference those for any questions about those poses. Setting this up, it's really important that you know your preference for um, whether your index fingers are pointing forward or your middle fingers are pointing forward and that you're distributing the weight evenly across your hands because this is your setup for a side plank and I need the head of the arm bones grounded, thigh bones grounded, I need access to my all my power here. I'm probably going to bring my feet a little bit closer together. They Eventually they might be stacked in your version of side plank. Okay, but I'm just looking for the seamless line okay, in each arm so that I feel the strength of my sides, I feel length to my abs, okay? And it just constantly, I'm just growing longer, longer, longer as I bring the focus more inward. I'm gonna shift very carefully to plank because I don't wanna impinge a shoulder. I tend to have my bottom a little bit too high, okay? That's sort of something that I'm always working on. It's hard for me to keep my thigh bones grounded in my hip joints. I think it's due to um, some of that flexibility. So anyway, engaging my inner thighs, base of glutes, okay, lengthening the torso, and then carefully swiveling on the feet. I don't want to drop, okay, my hip. I'm going to let one foot be in front of the other here. Okay, head of the arm bones in, lengthening the spine. Your lower wrist might be directly underneath your shoulder or slightly forward of your shoulder, but most importantly, you want length. You might stack, okay? Here, I'm pretending that I still, that I have a block between my thighs. I just want that engagement, okay? Lengthening, maybe, as long as it's okay with the neck, looking up, breathing though, most importantly, okay? And then carefully lowering the hand. And then usually, I like to take the break of heading back into downward facing dog, just a nice release, a nice reset, okay? I'm gonna show the modifications on the other side. So number one in your plank, in your side plank, you don't need to take um, both knees off the ground, okay? The other thing, the reason why the blocks are here, and it, this might be too high, but um, the ground might feel really far away, just depending on your limb length ratio here, um, flexibility, strength, all those things. So you can do this from your hands and knees, from your all fours position, and swing out. I'm gonna get away from the wall just so I can do this. So I'm gonna take this side, so my right leg here, I'm going to carefully take my foot toward the wall, not to touch the wall or anything, but just in that direction. Okay, and when I make, the, my knee just popped, um, that transition, I want to be really mindful of that knee. So you might put extra cushion underneath your knee or double up the mat. And I'm going to put the blocks, I probably don't need both, okay, so I'm just going to show this. Okay, so I'm still, I'm looking for that same line. I don't want to pinch in my hip or my spine, but here's a modified side plank. So. Okay, the knee comfort is really important. You also don't want to let all the weight just hang here. You want to lift up, maybe be on fingertips. Okay, so you're looking for that line. Okay, still trying to um, strengthen the legs. As you lift this arm, 
Okay, you still want shoulder blades in toward each other and length all the way from your tailbone all the way through the crown of your head, potentially looking up. So this is a nice um, modification, not too much weight here on the lowered hand. You might have palm down. So just exploring this, okay, not always, right? There's all kinds of um, just variations. I mean, look, and you can do all these things in side plank, the regular uh, full version of side plank. So there's, and then when you exit, you wanna be really careful that as you turn the foot back to neutral, let's say, that you don't feel like you're torquing the knee. So we've got modify side plank, okay? We've got full expression, of side plank trying to monitor that we're not you know hanging out in the joints and that either way we're lengthening the spine okay feeling the strength any sort of you need to watch out for any sort of hypermobility in the elbows and that you want to make sure that the center lines of your arms okay feel nice and free and that you're not blocking your flow your energy flow the flow so that you can access your strength side plank. It's a fun pose, <laughs> my version of fun, and um, but it definitely, you need to stack bones, create space in the joints, use your muscles um, efficiently so that you can feel like you're getting something good out of the pose and not just focused on fatiguing. So, and how long are we going to be in this and when are we going to get out of it? <laughs> this kind of desperate feeling. So, I hope that this was helpful. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day. Namaste.